topic today, how to create your own business page. Now this is a question that I get asked a lot. So I wanted to make sure that you have a really clear step-by-step -step guide to take your business page from start to finish. So we're gonna be going over best practices, how you're gonna go ahead and set everything up. Uh, I'm excited. I hope that this helps you get your business launched that you get to start reaching those customers that you're so excited to get your hands on, meeting new presenters, making new connections, and spreading all of unique love around the world, right? That's what we're here for. I'm excited, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I am on my personal profile. Over on the left-hand side, you are going to see a pages section right here. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click create page. Now this is where you get to choose how you want your business to run. If you choose local business or place, that's going to mean that you're wanting to put your address up and other information and create more of a local presence for yourself. Company, organization, or institution, you can. You are your own company. I prefer to go with brand or product or company personally, just because I feel like that gives you the best options. The most important thing is all of these pages are going to be really, really similar and you can go ahead and change your page down the road if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and create a company, organization, or institution. Now here's the category and we're going to choose what category we fall into. We're going to scroll down here to health slash beauty and we're going to go ahead and create a company name. We're just going to throw up Tests for Facebook. Now remember, this name is going to be whatever you're calling your unique business. Corporate requires that you either call your business unique by so-and-so, or you can have a different name approved. I personally have Uniquely You by Andrea approved, but you do not have to use the word unique in your business name. You could call your business name Nourished Lashes. You could call it naturally based amazingness, it doesn't really matter, you choose. So before you go ahead and create your Facebook business page, make sure that you have thought up what name you're gonna to wanna to call yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, apparently this is invalid. So let's try a different one. Technical difficulties, right? It wouldn't be a good recording without one. Um, Andrea's lashes, we'll go ahead and just start with this. Great. Now this is where you go ahead and set up your about section. This is what's going to tell your customers what you're all about. You have 155 characters and that means as you start to type in this little number is going to go down. So I'm going to say I am a lash lover and want to share with the world unique products. And then you could go on from there. This is where you would put your website. Now, if you are a brand new presenter, let me go ahead and show you what your website is going to look like. If I click on unique here, this is going to take me directly to my page. At the top is this URL. Mine is uniqueproducts.com backslash Andrea Hedberg. So until you decide whether or not you're going to purchase your own website, you can use this URL right here. This is what you get as soon as you set up your account. It was emailed to you, or if you do forget what it is, you can go ahead and go to your unique back office and copy and paste this. So we're gonna copy and paste, and we're gonna put it right in here. Now, this is where you're going to enter an address for your page. This is what people will type in if they are looking for your page directly, or if you're going to copy and paste your Facebook page here, uh, and give it to someone. So we're gonna go ahead and just do Andrea's lashes, one, two, three, because that probably won't be taken. And we're gonna save the info. Next comes your profile picture. Now, I recommend that you choose a profile picture that is either of you or is an amazing lash photo in general. The recommendation always stands that you use the same picture on your Facebook as you do on your business page. Because if you see here, we'll go back to my unique page, this little picture of me right up here, 
This is actually, if I go to Facebook and I go to my profile, this is what my profile picture is here. So as soon as you change your personal profile photo, it will reflect that change on your unique website. So you could go ahead and uh, make that your profile picture here. So just for the sake of this, I'm just going to pick a random picture. We'll choose Fempire because this is actually the name of my team. We'll wait for that to upload. And just remember that whatever picture you do use, you want to make sure that it's high quality, that it's not fuzzy, that you're not cutting words off. Make sure that you're using a really clear image. Now, we can go ahead and add this to favorites. Uh, this is so that when you are here, it will appear over here on the left hand side. You can see that I have my Vampire, my Buyers Club, other, uh, uh, other groups and pages that I'm a part of. So we're going to go and just skip that for now. Now the preferred page audience. Who are we trying to target this to? You can always change this, but we right now we know that Unique is in the United States, Canada, I love this part because it fills in all these little check boxes. The United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and we are now in Germany, Mexico, and we will be launching into France in 2016. Go ahead and include that in there if you're just setting up your business page. Now when you zoom out, we have all these little cool little uh, places all over the globe that Unique is taking over. Primarily, we target women. This doesn't matter quite as much, but you can set your gender to all because there are tons of amazing men that join Unique. Go ahead and just drop your age down low. And here's why. The reason why you want to go ahead and do that is just because people may not be able to join Unique now. They might be too young, but in five years, those girls will be looking for a job and they may like your page now and five years down the road, you'll be able to connect with them. So we're gonna save that. And now your page is completely set up. What, this, what it will do now is it's going to walk you through a tutorial. I'm not gonna do that for you right now, but I recommend that you go ahead and follow through this tutorial that immediately pops up. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of that. And now let's talk about some business page basics adding a cover photo. Now we're going to just upload a photo. I'm going to pick something that's going to work. Let's see, let's type in cover photo. Right here. I'm just going to use this. We're going to pull this up. And now let's talk about this for a second, right? This is a collage, but for the most part, the images are really clear. Some of the products do get cut off, so be aware that when you are creating or putting up your own cover photo, that this profile picture box right here is always going to be there. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you open this up on your phone, it is only going to show you about, uh, see I can't do it, about this much. So about uh, just that little tiny square in the center. That's all that's going to be showing on your phone. So try to keep that in mind. It's kind of unavoidable unless you're going to make a uh, image for your business page that is compatible on both formats. So after this, this is where you would enter in everything into your about section. I get asked a lot, well, what the heck do I put here? This is an amazing place for you to add in some great details about yourself. So enter, you would enter in your start date. Your address is not mandatory. Remember that this short description is going to be what people see if they were just to immediately open your page. Your long description, and we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and show you on my current established business page what mine looks like. And this is just an example. So here's my business page all set up and ready to go. As you can see, I have my phone number in here, but I do not have my I do not have a price range. I do not have anything in the about in the um, address section because I don't want my address out there. So, oh, three words to describe my page. Sometimes Facebook does add new sections, so just make sure that you're checking back here. Mine is just nature's inspiration behind our science. I took some phraseology from off the website. 
And then here's my long description. It's a couple paragraphs long. Uh, not so much that people would get horribly bored reading it, but you get to choose what goes in here. So let's go back. I guess I'll stay here. Uh, our mission. I put, copied and pasted in what our mission is from Unique. Now let's check out the awards section. I have listed here every single time that I have promoted. Um, and actually, I do need to update this um, because I hit uh, $50,000 in personal sales this past month. And you can list, I here I chose to list the products. You'll be able to list products here as well. I went through and I just listed our top products. And then again, I, I put my website at the bottom. I always try to put my website in as many places as possible. Phone number, email, my actual website. You'll notice here that I actually own the uniquelyyoubyandrea.com. You can purchase a .com. It is a great way to always make sure that people have an easy way to get to you because it is so amazing that Unique provides us our own website. But uniqueproducts.com backslash whatever it is gets a little long sometimes. So this way you can be really creative and come up with a special way for your customers to remember what your website is. And that's it. So this is everything I have on mine. So you would be back here and you would fill everything in on your page and then you would go ahead and get started. As a brand new, as a brand new business page, oh, the cover photo didn't get in there. Well, let's pretend that the cover photo stayed, okay? This right here is a thing that a lot of people forget to set up. We're gonna create a call to action. This gives people the ability to do something right away from your page. Now, you have a lot of different selections. Contact us, book now. I prefer to use shop now. I would go ahead and copy and paste my website in here, but here's the important thing. You need to also go over and click on iPhone and Android, because if you don't do that, that call to action button will not show up on their mobile device, on their iPad, on their phone, you have to make sure that you click over to iPhone and Android. You enter in your website and you can also pick. You can also target iPhone users. You can say maybe you want them to sign up or watch a video. Whatever you want to do, that button's going to reflect here on your website. So from here, this is where you're going to start adding pictures. You are going to start inviting everyone to like your page, your friends. You can get your Y sisters on there. We're going to go over just a couple more things. Um, I get asked, these are my last questions that I get asked pretty frequently. You can click on messages. This is where you will actually be able to get messages back and forth from your customers. Your notifications are going to show you exactly what's happening on your page and publishing tools over here this is where you can actually create and schedule your posts so you can create a new post here you can click down to scheduled post create a scheduled post and that gives you the ability to click down here and hit schedule and pick an actual date and time that you want to be posted on your page so if we go back to your main page and we're going to um, go ahead and show you this on my business page. Once you get a certain amount of likes, 100 likes opens up more features that you'll be able to see. So here's my business page. If you notice on yours, the publishing tools, uh, I have an insights area located to the left of that. If I click on insights, this is something that only appears when you have enough likes on your business page. I'm able to go through and I'm able to see exactly what's going on. I'm able to see what posts are doing well. I can keep an eye on other pages that I, um, that I like, that I wanna check out. You can see the likes. You can see how many likes your page has grown to. You can see where it's coming from, how many people are unliking your page. That's always not a fun thing. Oh, 14 people had liked my page that day. That happens, right? But this is just another area that you will be able to go and see exactly what's going on. You can see your post section. This is something that's really important. This shows you exactly when people are viewing your posts online. The greatest number, so for me, my greatest 
um, peak for my day happens at 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So for me, that would mean I would put a post up around noon. So make sure that you get familiar with your business page. Take your time. Make sure that your about section really speaks to your customers. But just remember that this is your format. So I'm going to go ahead and pull off of this and chat with you for another second. And we'll get you started. So that's it. I'm really excited to see where you take your business page, how you grow. Let me know. I love to hear nothing but success stories. It makes me so incredibly happy. And hopefully that was a really good, easy, clear demo for you guys to set up your business page. Uh, a couple little tips and tricks in there for you. Please feel free to share this with your team. It is really easy, but it is such an amazing tool to use to reach those new customers and give you a nice creative platform where you can sell. Because remember on our personal pages, we're wanting to be sharing the products, sharing how much they change our lives, sharing what this business does for us. But I love my business page. It has been nothing but amazing for me. So until next time, Good luck and I cannot wait to see how much you rock your business.